Come and get it. It's barbecue time. Americans like barbecue. Texans love barbecue. But Houstonians really love barbecue. So much, in fact, each year we host the world's championship barbecue cook-off. We literally spend 50 weeks a year planning for this. It's the challenge of the cook, and it's a cook-off. And you've got these people that come from all over the state, all over the country, and all over the world in our contest. <laughs> it's what we do in Houston. You know, between the rodeo and, uh, you know, everything's better in Texas. Obviously, that's why we're all here, uh, you know? <laughs> Pitmaster Brian Thompson shows us some of the tricks of the trade of making a great plate of barbecue. There's two different ways to cut sausage. If you cut it on a bias like this, then it looks pretty and it doesn't roll off the cutting board. If you do it this way, then it'll end up on your feet. So, <laughs> okay, let me try. You know, when you're doing for a crowd, you have to <laughs> see it doesn't roll off the table. Sausage anymore with knife chain. How long should a rack of ribs smoke for? Uh, you know, it depends on the, the, the temperature, but you're looking at four to five hours is going to be a perfect pork rib. We're about to do brisket. The grain of the meat is what's most important. You don't want to cut it with the grain. You want to cut so it. So I don't want to start on this side. No, cut sir. This way. I no, want to start on the we'll opposite. Start right here. Traditionally, a pencil-sized slice is what you're looking for. You can see that it's got smoke ring on it. It pulls away nicely. That's a great, great cooked brisket. Okay, I'm moving in. I'm going for the cut. Come on now. It's got a nice bark to it. This is what we call this on top. It would be the bark. Oh, that's tender. No, 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 no. Let's do some chicken. I like to take the chicken and take the backbone out of it. Cut it right here. Take and pull the skin back, because if you just season the skin, then the meat is not that's seasoned. Right. So I'm going to let you do this part. That's probably good. OK. And so what you want to do I'll is just, massage just it in. work it in. That's how I do there it. There we go. OK, Shannon, eat some of this. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to do, easy to eat. Beyond the taste, there's also a passion for barbecue, and that's another thing Houstonians truly feel. Randy Pauly with Holy Cow Cookers sheds a little light on this passion. Barbecue has been so good to me. I travel the world and compete in cooking. Who would have thought? My job puts food on my table. This puts food in my soul. And that's what it is. I mean, that plate of barbecue is hours of passion, hours of soul. It's not something they just whipped up. You're talking hours. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Come out and see us this weekend. Oh, I'll be here. Okay. I'll be here a lot. <laughs>